Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how you can grab the code that I've been making on the videos so far. I recently pushed all this on a GitHub page, so you can grab the link that will be in the description to clone this repository and use it to load anything that actually will ever be pushed on this version tree here. So all you have to do is to grab the link, which will send you here, right? So that's the link you want to copy. Then you want to go into Git Kraken, create a new tab and clone a repository. In there, you will clone from a URL and you want it to be in your Godot folder, actually it doesn't matter. You want to give it a name, here it will be clone project. You want to clone the repository, right? It will be created and you can open it like this. And there we go. You will have this with various branches. So you can check the branches on the remote here, or you can click on whatever you wanna load. The one you will want to load mainly will be master, which is the main branch. Anything that I end up not making in a video or deleting a video will actually be branched, right? Like this episode six upgrade, I made a first shot of the video, which went very, very bad. So I just sent it on a branch and just started all over. So anyway, now that you have this, you can grab the branch you want. Let's say you want to grab experimental if you're curious. And then you want to start Godot. You go there, all right, and simply import. So here is my old import of when I was trying this. So you import something in the Godot folder and you choose the one you want to import, which is here, clone project. You select the folder, import and edit. And there you go. You have the game running, loading, and that's it. You can test it to see what's different. So here, this version is very different, right, than the one you know. But anyway, here is a few maybe sneak peek of what will come later on uh, and a few future features we will be making. So anyway. I will show you shortly how to change branches because Godot tends to keep a lot of things locally in order to make, I don't know, coding and documentation a little bit easier. So when you change a branch, it tends to remember many things which were in the old branch, right? So experimental and master here are very different. But because I loaded experimental, the editor, Godot editor, remembers classes which do not exist in master. My way of dealing with this is to go in the project folder in here and just delete the .godot folder. This way, the editor forgets everything. And when you start it again, like this, it might take a little bit longer at first, but he will forget about all those classes which do not exist, and that will avoid having your output here completely spammed with error. If you ever try to create a new class, which already exists on another branch, not here. So anyway, and uh, that's it for this short video. And I see you in the next one.